what happened in the case of Asada Shakur? Uh, you have heard in her own words, this woman was a political activist. She was targeted by whom? J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI in a program that was called COINTELPRO. That program was unveiled by whom? Frank Church, Senator Frank Church in the 1970s. He chaired the Senate Intelligence Committee. That committee determined that the FBI was using both legal, but mostly illegal methods to do what? In the FBI's own words, they wanted to discredit, to stop the rise of a black messiah. Th that was the fear of the FBI, so that there would not be a Mao Mao, in their words, uprising in the United States. And they were, of course, referring to the liberation movement that occurred in Kenya, Africa. Now, the FBI carried out a campaign where a targeting not only the Black Panther Party. They targeted SCLC. They targeted Martin Luther King. They targeted Harry Belafonte. They tar targeted Eartha Kitt. They targeted anyone who supported the struggle for civil rights that they considered to be dangerous. It is in that context we need to look at what happened on the New Jersey Turnpike in 1973. The Joanne, jo, what they call Joanne Chesimad, what we know as a satisfactory her, she was uh, targeted by the FBI, stopped, and the allegation that she was a cold blooded killer is not supported by any of the forensic evidence. If we look at the trial, we'll find that she was victimized, she was shot. She was shot in the back. The bullet exited and broke the clavicle in her shoulder. She could not raise a gun. She could not raise her hand to shoot. And she was shot while her hands were in the air. Now, that is the forensic evidence. There is not one scintilla of evidence placing a gun in her hand. No arsenic residue was found on her clothing or on her hands. So, the allegation by the state police that she took an officer's gun and shot him, executed him in, in cold blood, is not only false, but it is designed to inflame.